Everyone's trying to put the best team together they can, and that's just the reality of it. The one thing I can say about the whole situation was Kyle and John were very honest with me the whole time. That's their job to put the best team together possible, and you've got to respect that. So as long as the honesty and truthfulness is there, I respect those guys, I love those guys, and it's going to be a fun year this year. So uh, two different thoughts I want to get to on that, and Jeff Saturday's with us this morning as well. Marcus stays here. Jeff, let me start with you. Do you believe Jimmy G when he says, oh, yeah, I'm fine with the fact that even though I took this team to the Super Bowl, they were kicking the tires on another quarterback? Not even a little bit, Greeny. <laughs> Not even a little bit. <laughs> it's got to bother you, man. As an athlete, as a competitor, you don't want to give somebody else your job. If Tom Brady decides he wants to be a 49er, you're looking for a job. That doesn't feel good, especially you know, walking off a, a Super Bowl opportunity. So I think he understands fully that we all compete. But what else is he going to say? He's kind of backed in a corner. He's got to make good now. Rest assured, the only time he can really make the 49ers pay is next contract time. Because he knows he's got a good football team. He's got to go compete this season. But there's no, I don't even believe it a little bit that it didn't bother him. They were chasing uh, after Tom Payton. So I'm good with that part of it. Marcus, here's the thing that I think is actually most important to consider. Now, this is a team that made it to the Super Bowl last year. It wasn't Jimmy G's fault that he didn't have to do practically anything in the playoffs to get them there. And then he did not have a good day in the Super Bowl. So do you feel, considering the fact that the team did look at Tom Brady, like this is a make or break year for Garoppolo in San Francisco? No, it's not a make or break year, G. I think that was a, a special circumstance with Tom Brady being available in free agency. Um, I'm with Jeff, though. Like, it ain't no way in hell Jimmy G wasn't bothered by the fact that San Francisco was, was entertained and bringing Tom Brady in. But with that being said, man, I, I think we get caught up in the fact we think quarterbacks grow on trees in the NFL now. We think you can just knock a guy out and plug another one in and you'll be instantaneously better. That's not the case. Jimmy G had some bright spots. Let's be honest. He, he makes a pass against Emmanuel. He makes the throw to Emmanuel Sanders in the Super Bowl. And we probably not having this conversation at all about Jimmy Garoppolo and if he's the future. They've won. Now, obviously, he has to take his game to another level, but most quarterbacks in the NFL does. Um, but he's the future. I mean, I, I you know, it Tom, look. The greatest quarterback of all time very rarely comes up for free agency. And I'm sure a lot of other teams entertained Tom Brady, even though they're comfortable with the quarterback that they have. Jimmy G is fine. He'll be there. And they just re-up Kyle Shanahan another six years. Kyle may look for a quarterback at some point in the future, but as of right now, Jimmy G is straight. Really quickly, Jeff, if you're Kyle Shanahan, are you thinking to yourself, he's got to show it to me this year? No, I, I think he's your guy. I mean, I, I think what he's done last year, even get to the Super Bowl again, you're you're loaded up this season with true opportunity. Unless he completely regressed as a quarterback, which I do not foresee happening, I think this is the guy you ride with. You understand exactly what Swagoo said, man. Very rarely does Tom Brady show up as a free agent. It, it is what it is. It hurts your feelings, but you move on. Try to go win a championship. All right, that's fair. You guys both see it that way. Who am I to disagree? Even though I do. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.